But we begin with a salad lover, Bob Knight. That's right, Linda. From all you can eat to all you can argue, there was a dressing down at Texas Tech. If only they hadn't run out of cherry tomatoes. <laughs> Knight would coach his Red Raiders against Baylor. At first thought to be Pat, it would be Bob come game time. Let's look back at the last couple of days. Monday, Knight was involved in a public argument with Texas Tech School Chancellor David Smith. On Tuesday morning, there was word that a suspension had come down for five days for Knight. On Tuesday afternoon, officially, no suspension, but a reprimand instead. And on Tuesday night, Bob Knight was ready to coach his guys. As for the fans, of course, they always support the winning head coach and think he might be in line for some kind of promotion. Maybe take Smith's job altogether. Ronald Ross, the steal, kicks it up to Michael Marshall for the jam. Tech had a 13-4 lead early. Still in the first. Texas Tech going to turn it over. Carl Marshall up court, the lay-in and the foul. Baylor would go up one after the free throw. They would be tied at 34 as Knight walked off. Andre Emmett almost gets the steal. Ball goes out of bounds. And a few words for the official. Still in the second, Tech up 12. Ross the steal, kicks it up to Emmett. That's two of his 25, a high percentage shot. Texas Tech a winner. Pedro Gomez spent his Tuesday night in. S4 against Kentucky said Gators coach Billy Donovan, if we beat them, it's our Super Bowl. Well, Kentucky was up four. Eric Daniels, 8 of 12 from the field, 22 points. Wildcats up six. Then Florida's Anthony Roberson gets hot. Roberson. Oh, boy. Takes it away, gets it back, and will lay it in. Roberson led the Gators with 19 points. Roberson again, the 10th time this season he has led Florida in scoring. But then back from an 11-point second-half deficit was Kentucky. Kalena Azubuki nails a three, the lead down to five. Tubby Smith, what is the key down the stretch? Billy's team is pretty young, and, um, and you can see the inexperience come out there when we started to attack them late in the game when we were behind. So Kentucky took advantage of Florida's inexperience. And you take another look at this play clip, Hawkins, great steal. And the finish, Hawkins with nine points. It's a top 10 nominee. Florida still had its chances. Roberson. But he, that's a gimme, huh? Florida's still down under 10 to go. Down two. Roberson for three. No. Toby Smith thrilled, but said Billy Donovan, I thought in the last five minutes we played not to lose. 16th ranked Georgia Tech traveling to Tallahassee. Well, how have other ranked teams done on their trips to Tally? Well, let's see. Seminoles have beaten ranked Maryland, UNC, and Wake at home this season. So what would be in store for Georgia Tech? There are the question marks. Early in the first half, Seminoles up nine. Tim Pickett, the steal. And the alley-oop to Anthony Richardson. There's the top 10 nominee. Seminoles up 11. They were actually trailing by two at the half. Early second half, Ishmael Muhammad give and go to Jared Jack. Georgia Tech up four. Later, Knowles down three. Pickett, catch, shoot in the lane, and the foul. Made the freebie to tie it. Next Florida State possession. Pickett, tough fadeaway three. Seminoles up two. Never lost the lead again. Pickett at 33. Back to college, Oklahoma State, Texas A&M. Cowboys looking for their sixth straight win. John Lucas, the Baylor transfer, hits the three at the buzzer at the half. Lucas tied a career high with 27 points, and Dad loves it. Second half, OSU up nine, Lucas. He's the team's assist leader, and he passes to yeah, Ivan McFarlane, OSU up 11. Cowboys were unreal in the second half, shooting 69%. McFarlane with a big finish. Later in the second half, off the good ball movement, a lot of sharing going on. McFarland somehow gets himself all alone. Oklahoma State with the win now, 16 and two overall, six and one in the Big 12. Pitt tries to extend the school record 38 game home winning streak. First half, watch Pitt point guard Carl Krauser. Great no look to Mark McCarroll. Rewind. We just want to make sure you caught it. Four or five from the field was McCarroll. Later in the first half, the sweet no look by Krauser. Chevy Troutman finishing 11 points, eight boards for Troutman. Another no look. This one to Jeron Brown, 13 for him. 
It's all about Krauser making plays with the steal and another sweet no look. McCarroll, a top 10 nominee. Krauser tied a career high with nine assists, also had 9.7 boards. Pitts' home winning streak reaches 39 games as they cruise to victory over St. John's. Sixth ranked Louisville and Memphis, and that means John Calipari and Rick Pitino. Second half, we pick it up. Louisville up six. Nate Daniels from three, but Louisville up nine. That's how it works when you hit a three-pointer. Memphis would come back, though. It's a two-point game. Rodney Carney gives Memphis a one-point lead. Carney had 19, 65 seconds left. Memphis up four. Kendall Dartez throws it away. Anthony Rice misses the dunk. Antonio Burks is there. Coach. First time in my life. 30 years, no, actually not a head coach in 30 years, whatever number it is. Um, I've never tried to slow the pace of a game down. And uh, I'm very humiliated and embarrassed at myself for doing it, but it was the only way we could win tonight. And uh, I'm going to go home and punish myself for trying it. Didn't use injuries as an excuse. Louisville drops their second straight game since a 16-game win streak. Virginia Tech trying to be the ranked team for the first time this season. That's something to dance about, right? Marcus Sales finding Brian Matthews. 23 points for Matthews. Matthews again taking the outlet and knows what to do with it. 7 to 12 from the field. Matthews in the lane can't make them all, but boy is he aggressive with the follow. Virginia Tech would hang on and win. Collins and Gordon combined for 33 points in the victory. NC State 10-0 at home and hosting Wake Forest. Yeah, the Wolfpack very impressive, unbeaten at home this year. But they were down. Julius Hodge driving, 7 of 13 from the field. The Wolfpack with a nine. Still in the second half, NC State down seven. Hodge making things happen with his 18 points. NC State down 62-56. Hodge sharing to Marcus Melvin. Gets a top 10 nominee. Wolfpack down three. 20 points for Melvin, 11 boards. And then double S, Scooter Sherrill. Two and two from three-point range. He gets 16 points. We have a tie game. Boy, the Wolfpack is something else and something to watch. Hodge to Melvin for three. NC State comes back to leave Wake in shock. Colorado visiting 14th ranked Texas. Rick Barnes, Longhorns, playing for a share of the Big 12 lead. First half, Texas passing it around pretty well. Jason Klotz to Edgar Moreno. Watch a spot shot of there. Moreno drawing the crowd and leaves Klotz wide open. Hey, give and go. Colorado pressured, bringing the ball up court. Kenny Taylor, the steal, and the dish to Brian Boddicker for the left. Texas up nine. This is bad Colorado passing. Kenton Paulino, the steal, two on one. Klotz makes it a three on one. Klotz the slam, a top 10 nominee. The Texas bench outscored Colorado's bench 40 to six. Royal Ivy, another steal. Nice bounce pass to Mouton. 23rd straight home win against an unranked opponent for the Texas Longhorns. Minnesota. Wisconsin won 24 straight at home, but Chris Humphreys made it a two-point game. Humphreys had 24. Another close game between the two. November 2003, Minnesota beats Wisconsin football. Last second field goal for Paul Bunyan's Golden Axe. So would the basketball game be as thrilling? Not exactly. Second half, badges of five. That's when Devin Harris takes over. Harris, 10 of 12 from the field, 13 of 14 from the line. Here the steal. His 38 points, the most by a Badger in a single game since Michael Finley tied the school record 42 to 94. Iowa State visiting 22nd ranked Oklahoma. Calvin Sampson and his Sooners focused. Hey, Oklahoma's been on a roller coaster ride this season. The Sooners won their first 10 games, then they lost their next four in a row. Now they have won three straight, and I'm getting nauseous. Anybody have a ginger ale? This puts them at 13 and 4 heading into the game. Oklahoma up Jabari Brown. Brown, the spinorama. 11 points, 5 boards. He'd make the free throw. Sooners led 41 27. Later in the second half, Oklahoma by 20. Jason Dietrich is trapped in the corner. There it is. All he does is break the trap. And then the finish. 15 points for Dietrich. Next possession by the Sooners. Jason Williams finding D'Angelo Alexander. Alexander 5 of 7 for three point range. Oklahoma made 12 threes in its victory. Winning college basketball highlights. Purdue and Penn State. Final 15 seconds of the first half. David Teague connects from three with four seconds left. That's too much time to leave for Penn State. They inbound the length of the court to Aaron Johnson. Hits the three at the buzzer. Purdue up five at the break. Second half we go. Brandon McKnight. 
to Brett Busher. Anybody want to guard this guy in the paint? Purdue, an easy winner on the road. In this series, Neil, they've won 12 in the last 14. Blue Devils won 15 in a row overall, and welcome, says Coach K to Roy Williams, to this rivalry. This is serious business. Sean May, 20 Carolina turnovers, not good. Somebody's open on the wing. Daniel Ewing spotting up for a three. Duke's up double digits at 11. 29-18, Duke, Carolina hanging around. Jackie Manuel played a big game, took four shots, hit every one of them. And Carolina's within nine at this point. Second half, down five. Raymond Felton flying up the floor. Misses, but May... May had a man-sized 21 rebounds and 15 points. 64-62, Carolina felt making a five-point lead. He also had eight assists and six rebounds. Duke down five. J.J. Redick misses the J. Felton jamming it up the other way. Rashad McCants flushing. 69-62. It's a big spot for Carolina. Held that lead. McCants had 27. Call him double dang if you want. Lou Aldang went for 17 and 12. 69-68. Maybe the shot of the game. J.J. Redick hanging and hitting. Take one more look at this. He went strong. It was his first field goal of the second half. Carolina down three. Options. Felton three. McCants three. How about Jawad Williams to tie it? 74 all. Duke's got a last chance to dance on Carolina's floor. Ewing three. No. Rebound. Carolina. Felton. Oh, overtime. And it deserved it. It was such a great game. Duke up three. 20 seconds to play. This is where Dan Schulman and Dick Vitale started yelling. <laughs> well, McCants is one guy you got to try to find. Gets it off. Ties the game. He's the guy you got to find. He's been clutch shots all year. Just has, just has Jim Calhoun down there at Connecticut. They two in the last minute. 27 for McCants. Duhon's great right drive yeah. by Duhon. Here comes Felton. Four seconds Can to win. Can it? Can it? Win it? Oh, what a game. Unbelievable. Duke gets out of here with 16 in a row. That's remarkable in itself. Still unbeaten in the conference. Afterward, Chris Duhon talked about the drive and the bucket. Felton came out the pressure. And we was actually just trying to get the ball up the court so we could run a play. But I seen uh, they kind of half switched. They didn't talk well. And I just started attacking. And then it just opened up, and thank God I made the layoff. Every year it lives up to it. This one didn't disappoint. Duke by two over Carolina. It's a big-time college basketball game. Uh, get tired of saying that when we're on the short end. I think you do it an injustice just to say that it was a great Duke-North Carolina game. I, this was a great game. And although a lot of the Duke-Carolina games have been some of the greatest ever, but... The intensity level of this, this is, you know, you can't, you can't match it. I think if I ramble on, I'll be here all night. Let's just say it was a big-time college basketball game. Our team, I'm extremely proud of them, and we got beat by an excellent basketball team that I have a great deal of respect for. For what it's worth, Coach K said of this team, Carolina, best we've played all year. You saw that little number, one and four against the Blue Devils is Roy Williams. Worst against any opponent, although he's one and four against Kentucky. The lone win came last year in the tournament. Roy Williams, 0 and three against Maryland. Dan Schulman and Dick Vitale with some more. He's out nearly a month with the knee injury. Nick Robinson misses the lay, and Rob Little gathering what he spills. He's got the put back. Then Josh Childress to Matt Loddick to Little for the baby hook. Little, 17.6 rebounds. Stanford shot 51% from the field. Arizona State, 32%. Chris Hernandez, corner, three. The team, five for eight from the three. The other team, Arizona State, three for 18 from the three. Stanford is going to win this ballgame 81 to 51. They are 19 and 0, their second best start ever. Back on the floor at the kennel, number eight, Gonzaga hosting Pepperdine. Blake Stepp driving, pretty dish with a wrap around. He finds Ronnie Turiaf and lays it in. And that got this guy into this dance mood. Now, who do you think the people in the stands are looking at? Does he stand out? <laughs> yeah, but well, for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, he's there. And he wasn't leaving. And in fact, we've ruled him a top 10 nominee. He's got the moves down. So does Blake Stepp, the alley oop for Turiaf, who throws down. And let's get some more of this guy in here. Get a little Polaroid picture he's going to pull out of some pocket. And with that, a top 10 nominee. And laugh now. Who wouldn't want to be that guy? The Zags, 93-73 winners. 
All right, let's keep it West Coast for 12th ranked Arizona at Cal. Cats beat the Bears by 20 in the desert earlier this season. Coach Luke never loses to him. Mustafa Shakur to Andre Iguodala. He had 25 in the top 10 nominee. Late second, Richard Midgley to Leon Poe. He had 21. Golden Bears up four. Half minute. Zona down four. Shakur. He had 14, and it's a two-point game. The Cal's up a field goal, 19 seconds left, and Midgley makes the second free throw, and California beats Arizona. First time they've done that in five years. We're starting this Sports Center with two great OT finishes. First, high point in Charleston Southern. I think you're going to see a long pass here. White throws it in. Gapping's got a good look, and he hit it! Danny Gathings wins it for High Point. A Millicenter record crowd of 2,436 went nuts.